Hi guys, this is Hakim. Welcome to my Framework 7 tutorials. In this part of the tutorials, we'll be setting off our, our Framework 7 app. If you are just watching my video for the first time or you are new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button as I'll be uploading more about Framework 7 and other technologies. So without further ado, let's get started. To start working with Framework 7, we head over to their website called Framework7.io. So once you are here, you click on this download button. It's going to take you to a github page so after this github page you are going to select um the package that is the file you need you want to download so what you actually need right here is just uh, is, the, is the third one right here called framework 7.tad.gz this first one is for those who, is, who want to work with react and the second one is those who want to work with um view why this fourth and fifth one are just the components so you are going to click it then you download it then after you download it you locate where you download it so i've already downloaded it and i i i save it in this um directory called Fero 7 demo i read it directory in this um HTT docs directory so once you once you have saved the file just click on it and extract um the files so if i have already done that no need to no need for me to extract them um, the files again so you open the the framework 7 dot five dot zero zero dot um dash beta dash 14 so once you're in this directory so what you're actually going to do now we are going to cut this the whole files right here in the folder so you are going to paste it um in this root directory of this framework 7 demo actually you, you might you don't have to do it right like this but why i'm actually doing it like so that it will be easy for us to navigate and understand the the folders we are working with so after I um I'm through with that, I'm going to open this kitchen dot sync. This um kitchen dot sync is where we are we are going to have the files we need. So click on kitchen dot sync sync. We are going to see um three folders: the core, React, and View. The View and React are for those working with other frameworks. View and React. If you want to um work with these two frameworks, you can work with them. But you are going to work with pure van, um, vanilla javascript so we, will go, we are going to click on this on this core after we click on this core we are going to cut all, all the files from this core and we are going to um, paste it in the home directory of this frame of seven that we what that we created so after we paste it right now we can navigate to our app and see what is it's going to look like localhost host so this is the um, location I saved all the files. So once we navigate to the app, we are going to see this weird looking app that does not even look like app, it just look like a website that don't have a um, style, style, style sheet um, linked to it. Because of the files we move from their default location, so we we'll have to fix this in in the index.html. So I'm going to open my uh, VS Code. I like using VS Code, you can use any editor of your choice. So we are going to locate the the index.html which is right over here and we are going to look for those links that we um that cause um those sites to be looking um that way so we are going to actually we are going to look for the link then we are going to fix this link this this for the css and we'll look for the javascript right here so i think this should do right now let's see okay right now everything is set up as you can see with we have our um, app looking like an app now not looking like a website so for you from let's let's try to view this um let's try to view this in a mobile device like a mobile device so that we'll get the feel it's going to look like when we run it in our phone so right now this app is running on Galaxy S5. The Chrome already has some device that you can use to test your website and your apps. So it's running on Galaxy S5. Right now this app is pretty much looking like a an app which you are going to install in your phone. Let's try and change it to um iPhone X and see if it's going to look like an iPhone app. Okay, right now as you can see this app just change the um this app just change its ui and now it's looking like 
a an iphone app that you generally install on your iphone so right now what you are seeing right now is the default template that comes with that file that we just downloaded and we um, we set up so in next video will be i'm going to clean um delete all this um code and i will start afresh before that let's um let me try to explain some stuff okay, for this you. The index dot, um, this is the index.html. In this index.html, there is a link to the um, framework 7 CSS. So this is the link to the framework 7 CSS. Then this app.css is just a custom um, st style sheet. If you want to create a custom style sheet, you can actually, this is just for the custom style sheet. Then these two are just for logo. Then if we, if we head over down here, we are going to see some um, JavaScript files that have been linked in this index.html. So right here is the framework 7 um, JavaScript file that is linked. And the second one here is um, route.js. So um, if you don't know what is route, route is just um, used to navigate our pages. I'll be talking on that in another video. Then this app is the file that we use to and initialize the app and do some other things which we are going to look on right now. So let's let's um let's head over to the JavaScript um folder. In this JavaScript folder, as you can see, there is app.js and there is um, route.js. So right now, in this, we are going to open this app.js. In this app.js, there is a variable called dollar which is close to this DOM seven. So what this dollar actually means is just like um jQuery um jQuery is used to manipulate the elements in the DOM. So if you know how to write jQuery, this DOM seven will be easy for you to to work with. But if you don't know how to write jQuery, you can still work with um pure JavaScript, and we will still have the same results with person working with this DOM seven. So this um theme is is set to auto right now. If you watch my previous video, I, I talked about um where this how um framework seven is go is going to detect the platform you are you are running the app on and it's going to display the UI um that fit that platform. So this is what it's actually doing. So right now, if we want to create, if we want this framework seven to to display a certain UI, no matter the um the platform we are running it on, we can actually do it. Like now, if we want this framework seven to display a UI a, a UI for um android no matter where we are running on can just type um md so md stands for material design which is used for android so let's head over to our app and we'll see as you can see right now we are running this app on an iphone x which is an ios device but as you can see right now this app is is displaying an android um ui so that is what this um this team is is actually doing. So let's just um make it auto so that it's going to switch automatically. Then here is where we initialize the Flow Seven app. So with this, before we, uh, initializing this Flow Seven app, we pass some option. There is ID. So this ID is just the ID of your app. You have to give your app an ID. So basically, how 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 ID is being given to an app is like let me say you have a domain called example.com so you are going to reverse the domain which is going to be com.example then this dot text is the name of the app right here so this root is what this root does is that is um it's grabbing a div in the index.html so as you can see there is there's a div called there's a div with an ID of app so those this is what the root is actually doing so what this um what framework seven does is that it's going to inject um pages in your app so it's just dynamic stuff it's just like um other frameworks like react and view which you don't need to um refresh um the page for you to display um new content so that is the almost same thing framework seven is doing right here so right here is the team option which we pass um the team variable that we declare already right here then there's a data um option here with functions this is actually used to this is actually used for the login that that comes with the template we downloaded so but we, we are not actually going to work with it so we can actually delete this because we are going to create our own login page later on then this method just contain a hello world and um, function which which is being called in a component in a page so we don't actually need this stuff rather so we can delete this code from here so this route is the is the route um this route is coming from this route page so this route is just a, a is just an array with a bunch of um 
objects so rat is just used to navigate page and i'm going to talk about rat in that video so this is just what rat does right here and it's been it's been available right here so that is where we pass we pass it from um this route so that is the route you are seeing here actually you can create your route right here without um creating external file for the route then this pop-up is just a component so this component pop-up and it passes in a an option called close on escape so this basically means that it passes this option close on on escape and it set it to true so this basically means that this pop-up will be able to close when someone click um around the pop-up so basically basically how the pop-up actually closes is when you cl click on close button but with this um option set to true right now if you click on if you click on somewhere around the pop-up like like background of the pop-up is going to close still same thing with this style sheet and pop over and action component so right here there is vi which is used for video advert we don't we don't actually make use of it so we can actually delete this stuff from here that will be all for this app app.js file but before we go we have to initialize the view so we'll head over back to um framework 7. um io and and we copy this this line of code so we are going to paste this line of code right here and we are going to rename it to view you can leave it like that but i i like working with the name view so that now i'm working with view so what this actually does is that it's going to initialize this um view so without this view we will not be able to work with um route we will not be able to navigate um open new pages and in our navigate to new pages in our from seven app so that will be all for now if you find this video helpful please like and share and also if you are new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification now see you in the next video thank you